Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. We welcome you guys once again. Today, guys, today we are combining everything as far as the grade 10 syllabus extends. You know what I'm saying? We are tackling once again analytical geometry. Um, we're going to do an example right here. We are given a line AB, I mean a line with points A and a point B right here. So these are the coordinates of A negative 5 and negative four you know what i'm saying so it's um one two three four five units to the left and one two three four units downwards so we we, we have got this coordinate then we're given b right here you know what i'm saying the coordinates is zero and six you know what i'm saying so b is actually um the coordinate of the y intercept because of um 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 x is equals to zero right there you know what i'm saying so B is right here. It's B is actually um, on the Y axis. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Firstly, let's find the um, the distance AB. You know, um, we have learned this, guys. D um, is equals to the square root of um, X2 minus X1 all squared plus Y2 minus Y1 all squared. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to take a, you know, I'm going to take this one as my x, x1 and y1 and d as my um, x2 and y2. Okay, cool. Um, okay, x2 is 0 minus um, x1 minus 5. So 0 minus minus 5 all squared plus y2 is 6 6 minus y1 y1 is negative 4 minus 4 all squared okay we continue right here and then we know that a negative multiplied by a negative you know you're gonna get a positive so this is gonna be 0 plus 5 all squared plus 6 plus Four, all squared, right? So we continue. Um, um, okay, so it's five squared plus ten squared. You know what I'm saying? So what is this? This is gonna be the square root of. Um, okay, five squared is twenty-five plus ten squared is hundred. So this is the square root of 125, right? So, the, this is it. This is AB, or the distance, um, you can say, you can write it like this, right? So, we're able to find the first thing right there. And also, let me just put it into you guys that there was another way that we, we, we could have been able to find um this distance a b without even going through all of this right um okay if we can extend let me just grab another color um you know if we can um okay let's just increase this right here guys okay cool if we can extend this point horizontally until here we know that um um a is what is negative five and negative four so this point the y coordinate of a and the y coordinate here will be the same you know so this point was going to be negative four you know what i'm saying and then obviously this point is six right here right okay cool guys um, so can you see that this would have been a right angled triangle? You know what I'm saying? And AB was going to be our hypotenuse. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. Such that we're going to be able to find um, 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 AB, you know, in another way. Okay, let's just use it here. Or another way to find AB. You know, so AB, all right, AB squared equals to um we're gonna call this okay um a o or something you know what i'm saying let's say okay yeah let's say let's call this a o right 
a o you know um all squared and then we're gonna call this um o b you know plus o b all squared i think i'm confusing people with these o's and everything okay so basically um 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 o a is this point right here o a o you know this distance right here and then o b i just called it this distance you know you can call it whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying um whichever way will assist you guys you know to sleep at night um okay cool um so the hypotenuse um is equals to this distance um all squared plus this distance all squared right so um this distance this distance is actually um a five units you know what i'm saying because a is negative five so basically if a is negative five here so this is five units from the y axis this this is five units so it's going to be five squared plus and then what about this distance guys right here you know i don't know if i've got my okay let me just use this okay cool we're able to establish okay this is the same thing the distance from here to here we said it's five units you know you know what i'm saying so this is negative five right so it's gonna be one two three four five so this is five units and hence we said five squared so what about the distance from here up to to there so we're gonna start from here right so we're gonna be like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know so it's actually ten units you know so it's the same thing guys um five squared plus ten squared that is 125 that's a b squared so a b still is the square root of 125 okay guys let us continue secondly we are asked to find the gradient right the gradient of a b this is the gradient the gradient of a b okay okay guys the gradient of a b um we know that the gradient you know measures the steepness of a line the formula for gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay so we, we this is the formula for gradient you know what i'm saying so the gradient of a b equals to okay we know that the coordinates of a is negative 5 and negative 4 right and the coordinates of b is 0 and 6 you know what i'm saying so the gradient here um um okay a is x1 and y1 then b is x2 and y2 so y2 is gonna be 6 minus minus 4 right divide by 0 minus minus 5 right okay so you continue here so it's gonna be 6 plus 4 divide by 0 plus 5 6 plus 4 is 10 10 divided by 5 so this is a 2 so the gradient of a b equals to 2 does it make sense look i mean let us look at um our line here this line will have a positive gradient you know what i'm saying so okay we continue guys um let me just squeeze something right here let's say we want to find the midpoint the midpoint of a b right we are basically finding the coordinates of the midpoint right between um a and b so basically we want to find the coordinates of of the the, the midpoint right maybe it's going to be somewhere here but we cannot just you know decide and guess we want to find the exact coordinates you know what i'm saying so how do we find a midpoint all right in order for us to find a midpoint um between two points in a line um i'm gonna name it m m is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and then this is this is going to be the x coordinate then y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this is going to be the y coordinate you know what i'm saying 
Okay, guys. Um, okay, this is how we're going to find the coordinates of the midpoint. So um, we know that A is x1 and y1. So this is x2 and y2. So x1 is negative 5 plus um, x2. x2 is 0 divided by 2. Okay. And then the y coordinate is going to be negative 4. Right, right here, plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, guys. So negative 5 plus 0 divided by 2 is negative 5 over 2. Okay, guys. So um, we want to find this is the x coordinate of the midpoint, right? And then here it's going to be it's like negative 4 plus 6. This is going to be 2 divided by 2, right? So the coordinates of the midpoint, our m will equals to um, um, a negative 5 over 2, you can call it negative 5 over 2 or negative 2.5, you know, then 2 over 2 is 1. So this is the coordinate of our midpoint. Okay, guys, we are almost done, you know. We're able to find a distance, right? We, are able, we know how to find a distance now, then um, which is a measure, right, of a length, you know what I'm saying? And then the gradient, we're able to find the gradient right here, right, which, which measures the steepness of a line. Um, you know, the change in the y with respect to the, um, divide by the change in the x values. Then the midpoint, we're able to find it, right, given a point, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then maybe we, we want this value, given a point A and, po and point B. So you want this value, so we're, we're able to find that. So now we're going to go to A property. This is the last section um, here. So you might be given another information, you know. Right here we've got two more points, point C and point D. So, um, and C and D is a line, right? Um, let me just draw it right here. It's a line like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that's not the previous line. Okay, let me just grab another paper. Okay, cool, guys. We have got um, our Cartesian plane. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis, you know. And then we had our line, um, you know. We had A here and you know b here so now we have c and d right and so i just want to join the two points you know right so we've got um okay so this is c and this is d so we are being asked a question now right or oh, this this line might not might not even be drawn right on the graph or, you know, on the Cartesian plane, but they might just give us the coordinates as they have done here. So now they are asking us, let's call this L1 and L2, whether they're asking us now about the relationship between L1 and L2. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, when we're going to be speaking about a relationship between lines, we're going to be considering um, whether are the lines parallel. Looking at the two lines, um, there's no way that the lines are parallel, right? Um, when lines are parallel, it's going to be lines like this, you know? Lines like this. They will never cross, you know what I'm saying? Um, those, those lines are not drawn quite well. But, you know, um, are the lines perpendicular? We are not sure of this one. So, um, what we're going to do, guys, right here, you know, we are going to find the gradient of the other line. You know, we are going to find the gradient. We're going to find the gradient of line um, CD, you know, and then after we can be able to establish a relationship between the two lines. Okay, guys, the coordinates of C is negative 5 over 2 and um, 1. The coordinates of D is 1 and negative 3 over 4. And yeah, guys, when you see um, fractions, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
let not your heart skip a beat you know what i'm saying just work with them if they give you fractions you know don't don't just stand from your desk and you know just decide that you know you can't do this yes you can okay we're gonna say we're gonna take this as x1 and y1 and this is x2 and y2 okay guys so the gradient is gonna be y2 minus y1 so it's minus 3 over 4 minus 1 right divide by um x2 minus x1 so it's gonna be 1 minus um minus 5 over 2 okay guys um this is minus 3 over 4 let me just make this simple let's say 4 over 4 divide by um um 2 over 2 plus 5 over 2 so i just made these fractions but this is the same as 1 like 4 over 4 let's um do this so negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7 divide by 4 divide by 2 plus 5 this is 7 divide by 2 you know what i'm saying okay we're gonna find our gradient now negative 7 over 4 times 2 divided by 7 okay guys you know all right um we just um cross multiplied here you know what i'm saying um if you are still struggling with um um how to invert this just comment below or email me i will do a video or assist you privately okay guys so at this point we're gonna divide you know right here um this these two will divide so we'll be left with negative 2 over 4 so this is negative 1 over 2 right so the gradient of cd is negative 1 over 2 and the gradient of ab is 2 you know what i'm saying firstly if the lines are parallel right their gradient they have the same gradient gradient you know what i'm saying so these two are not the same right then so this is not the case right so we check another one if the lines are perpendicular the product of their gradient equals to negative one so let's check the gradient of cd multiplied by the gradient of ab Remember, we were able to find the gradient of AB here. You know what I'm saying? Um, here, there, it, there it's two. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Um, um, so, what is this? Gradient of CD is negative 1 over 2 multiplied by 2. What, what is this equals to? This equals to negative 1. Okay, guys. Um, so, what can we conclude? The product... Or if I multiply the gradient of CD and then I multiply that with the gradient of AB, I get negative 1. So this means that um, AB is perpendicular to CD. So AB and CD are perpendicular, right? So I can just put a, like, right there, that's like 90 degrees. Okay, guys, thank you so much, guys, for watching um, and hitting it until this far. Um, if you've got any questions, guys, I think this with this video we have covered um, everything as far as the grid 10 syllabus extends. You know what I'm saying? We have covered everything, guys. Um, so please, if you've got any questions on this, check the other videos we have made. You know, enough videos on analytical geometry for grade 10s. So please check the other videos, guys. And if you've got questions, please let us know, guys. Don't be um, quiet. Let us know. Then we'll be able to assist you um okay guys do stay blessed have a fantastic fantastic day